going on? This is DJ Cut. In this video, I'm gonna go over the Sony A7S Mark II and how to set it up. So in this video, we're gonna go over picture profiles and how I set up my picture profiles and the ones that I tend to use most. So uh, if you haven't seen my last video that's uh, custom buttons, um, you guys can go watch that now. I'll put that in the description. But this video is gonna focus on how I set up my picture profile. So what we have is we have C4 set up to picture profile. Right now it's set to off. So you got off, uh, picture profile one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. And I go down to picture profile number seven. We're gonna go over, and the black level is set to zero. What I change is I'm gonna set that to plus five. It'll crush the blacks a little bit. And we got, we're got we set to uh, gamma of S log two. And then right now the color mode is cine. So I'm gonna change that to S gamut cine and this will give your image a more flat profile than S-Log2 is already. It's already really flat, but now it's even flatter. So that's what we have for our first picture profile. Let's go back in and let's go to C6. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna set that to black level, plus five, our gamma, I'm gonna change that to Cine 4. Then for color mode, I'm gonna go back to S Gamut. And these are the two picture profiles that I use. So let me tell you when I use it. So now in Cine 4, this is great for outdoors, um, where it's bright and sunny, and a couple reasons why. So now in Cine 4, um, the difference is you can take your ISO all the way down to 200. Um, S-Log 2, it used to be 3200, but now you can take it down to 1600. So it's a lot better unless you want to slap a, a ND filter on. And so I usually use this for sunny days, outdoor, wedding. It's still a pretty uh, flat, profile. Uh, it retains a lot of the detail. Um, it's pretty flat. You can do a good amount of grading uh, to it, but like I said, you can move that ISO all the way down, and this is usually my go-to when it's sunny outside. All right, so now we are in our picture profiles. We're going to select PP6, which is Cine 4, and now what we're gonna do is we're gonna try to maximize this dynamic range. And so what we're gonna do is we're gonna take our ISO and we're gonna jack it up till we start seeing um, our highlights clipping. So we're at 128 and you can see up in the corner we have some highlights that are clipping. So that's lost information. We can't do, do anything with that. So let's see what our histogram says. And you can see over there, it's right at the top. That is lost information. So what we need to do is we need to bring down our ISO. Those are gone, and now that there's detail in there. So let's actually punch in and go up there. Now we can see detail. Now, if we go back out, then we see our you know full image. So that is how we maximize our dynamic range. Notice that we're about, you know, 128, that's about the max. Now this is in Cine 4. So now let's go back into our picture profiles. Now we're gonna go down to PP7. Look at this. We're at the same ISO, but our image is a lot darker now. And now let's take our ISO and see how much we can go up to before we start seeing some zebras. You know, we can go up to 640,000 and now we're just starting to see the zebra. So what that means is you can bring your ISO up higher, light up the room a lot more and retain a lot more details from the shadows and the highlights. 
And don't pay attention to the overexposure right here, the plus two. You need to look at your histogram to see what is overexposed um, to maximize the dynamic range. So this uh, is the end of this video. In the next video, I'm gonna go over memory recall and how to set up memory. If you guys have any questions, I've been using this camera for about a year, please leave them down in the comments below. Please let me know, give this a thumbs up and please subscribe. Thank you guys, we'll see you in the next video.